Okay, question two for HL and three for SLM. Arithmetic sequence has first term 60 and common difference negative 2.5. A, given that the kth term of the sequence is equal to zero, find the value of k, right guys? What I always like to do here when I get a sequence is just to start drawing out the sequence. So it's first term 60, so it's 60, and we're taking off 2.5, so it's 60, 57.5, 55, 52.5, etc. I don't have to do that, but I find it helps me kind of visualize or conceptualize what's happening. Okay, A, given that the kth term of the sequence is zero, so we know, or our formula booklet tells us, that the nth term, u of n, is equal to u1 plus n minus 1 d. That is in the formula booklet. And he says that the kth term, or the, you can call it the nth term, is equal to zero. What is the nth term? So we know the first term, u1, is equal to 60. We know our d is equal to negative 2.5. We know our n, sorry, we know our u of n, or u of k, let's call it u of n, we know our u of n is equal to zero. That's the nth term. It's equal to zero, and we don't know our n. So that's what we're trying to find. So I can say zero is equal to, because u of n is zero, u1, 60, plus n minus 1 times d, which is negative 2.5, find n. That's it. So now I just have an equation, one variable. This should not be difficult. 0 equals 60. Multiply this out, minus 2.5n plus, plus uh, 2.5, because it's negative 1 times negative 2.5. This is equal to, well, I'm going to add this to this side. So 2.5n uh, is equal to 62.5, and then n is equal to, you can do this with a calculator. In fact, guys, you could have done it from here with a calculator, but it's 62.5 divided by 2.5. Um, actually, I am thinking I will do that with a calculator. 62.5, 62.5 divided by 2.5 is equal to 25. Okay, I should have known that. So n is equal to 25. Therefore, therefore, k is equal to 25, because it's like k is the value of n whose nth term is zero. Okay, next question. Let's e let s of n denote, denote the sum of the first n terms of the sequence. Find the maximum value of n. All right, so or of s of n. So we're going to add up these terms. This plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this. Now what happens is, because we keep going down by, by 2.5, we get to zero, and then we get to negative 2.5, and then we get to uh, negative 5, and then we get to negative 7.5, etc. Now, once we start adding these negatives, what happens to the value of s of n, the sum of all these terms, that actually gets smaller because now you're taking numbers away. So, to find the maximum value of s of n, maximum max s n occurs when n is what? Well, 25, because the first 25 terms, it could be 24 actually, because it doesn't even matter if you add the zero, it's not gonna change, but you'll get the same answer. Um, when I add up all these, these numbers, before I get to the negative terms, that's where my maximum occurs, and, and all the terms that are not negative, it's the first 25 terms. So S of n, S of n is equal to. Now you can use either of the um, formulae. You could use S of n is equal to um, n over 2, n over 2 times u1 plus u1 plus un. 
and this we want s25 s of 25 is equal to 25 over 2 25 over 2 times um, 25 over 2 times u1 which is 60 and u25 which is 0. So it's just 25 over 2 times 60 which is 60 times 12.5. Let me just use my calculator. 60 times 12.5 gives me 750. So the maximum value is 750. Done. That is question two for HL and three for SL. I'll see you in the next question.